Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the no internet secured Wi-Fi error on Windows 10 and 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Internet Connections Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then click on the Settings icon and afterwards click on System on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and click on it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters and the last move you have to do in here is click on the Run button next to Network and Internet. Now Windows will try to help you diagnose the exact problem and fix it as soon as possible. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to reset the network configuration. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but copy paste each command. So press on enter after each command, copy paste once again, so forth and so on. Then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, you can also update the network adapter drivers. So right click the windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in here in the device manager window, expand network adapters, then right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers on your PC. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to change your adapter settings. Now to do this, press the Windows button then simply type something like network settings. And if you have Ethernet, make sure to click on it and afterwards next to DNS server assignment, make sure to click on the edit button. Now click on the drop down menu and select manual and afterwards make sure that the IPv6 is toggled to off. Now simply click on save, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reinstall your network drivers. This is super simple, right click the windows button, then select device manager from the list of options and afterwards in the device manager window expand the network adapter section. Now right click on the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet device that you have in here and select the uninstall device option. The next move is to tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device, then click on the uninstall option. Now this will uninstall your device and as soon as you restart your computer, Windows will attempt to reinstall the drivers automatically. Then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.